Record-breaking Joss Butler was the star of the show again as England inflicted yet another defeat on Australia in the one-off T20. Butler pushed up to open at a sun-drenched and near-sold-out Edgbaston, and followed the brilliant match-winning century which completed England's historic 5-0 one-day international whitewash of their Ashes rivals by this time hitting the fastest 20-20-50. He batted Ravi Bopara's 23-ball half-century, also against Australia in Hobart four years ago, by racing to his in-21 as England piled up 221 for five. The highest total in this format on home soil, before defying a lone hand from Australia captain Aaron Finch, 84, to close out a 28-run win. Finch matched Butler almost shot for shot, taking 27 balls for his 50, and hitting 5 sixes in 11 balls at one point as Moeen Ali bore the brunt, but he could not quite haul his team back from 72 to 5 as Adil Rashid, 3 to 27, and then Chris Jordan, 3 to 42, enforced home advantage. Australia's short white ball trip therefore finishes without an international success as England proved the Masters for a sixth time in 14 days. Butler, 61, wasted no time vindicating his promotion to the top of the order for only the second time in his 2020 international career by bagging six fours and five sixes with his unique blend of power and improvisation. Alex Hales was no slouch either, dropped down to number 4 and responding with 49 from 24 balls. Butler and Jason Roy got England off to a superb start in an opening stand of 95 in under 9 overs, after Australia had put them in. Both then went in quick succession, Butler caught a deep mid-wicket as he tried to pile into a short ball from leg spin debutant Mitchell Swepson and... Roy, who had been badly dropped by Kane Richardson at long off on 27 off Ashton Agar, skying Billy Stanlake into the leg side ring. Joss Butler now has the fastest ever England T20 I-50 in his first game as new long-term opener. He opened once before, and made 73 asterisk, Tim, at Timwig, June 27, 2018. Owen Morgan promoted himself above Hales, but his wristy reverse hit at Swepson merely found the hands of Deep Point. It therefore fell to Hales to keep up the momentum, in a stand of 72 with Joe Root, which ended when Hales fell in. Bizarre circumstances, slapping a slower bouncer back to Marcus Stoinis' first delivery of his solitary over for a memorable one-handed return catch. Johnny Bairstow strode out to administer two late maximums, though, and it seemed from the outset of Australia's reply that they were up against it. When Liam Plunkett made quick work of Darcy Short, stabbing a pull into the hands of Short fine leg, much depended on fit again Glenn Maxwell. But Jordan had the perfect delivery for him, fooling the big hitter with a slower one which invited ambition but messed with the timing and hit off stump. Finch could not get on strike in a power play which amounted to 59 for two, and England's spinners then took three more wickets for eight runs. Australia's captain could only watch from the other end as Travis Head was caught at long on off Moeen and then, in Rashid's second over Alex Carey was bold pulling and Stoinis picked out long off with a flat hit without scoring. Finch responded mightily in a stand of 86 with Ashton Agar which more than doubled the score. But when he was caught inches inside the long on rope by Jordan off Rashid, England's supporters could breathe easily again.